Aloha everyone. This is Cheryl Hamilton and I'm live early today. Um, thanks so much for tuning in or watching me on the replay. And um, usually I go live on Wednesdays at 10 Hawaii time, but um, I forgot today I have uh, my second COVID shot. So yay, I'm excited <laughs> to get that done. And um, so I've got to go into town in a little bit. But um, before that, I want to congratulate June. She's the winner of this cute little card we made last, last week. Remember, it was a fun fold Valentine. And on the inside, it's just got, you know, a little square card. So I think a lot of people got hooked on this. This was fun. Fold it down like this and then kind of tuck in this corner here. Sorry, I can't do it this way but not facing me but there you go so it's a really cute fun fold and um hang on and i'll show you today's project this should be pretty quick but i just want to show you a cute one through celebration i mean i can't i can't talk and do things at the same time Okay, a cue card that you can get this free set through Celebration. So there it is. I think it's really pretty. And um, the set is called A Touch of Ink. Now, you might have found this in the back of the Celebration catalog. There's two items there that are free with a $100 order. So they're tougher to get. But I really, I just wanted to show this off to show you what it does. Um, it's two-step stamping, and you'll see basically that means you stamp the outline in probably in a black, and then the other you just stamp one time and it fills it in. So I really like this. Um, <clears throat> okay, uh, the two cards I, we made in um, this week's class was um, this and this one. So I just use different designer Siri paper backgrounds. They were both from Flower and Field, which again is a free set in celebration. And I love these colors in this. Um, Flower and Field, you can get free with a $50 order. So that might be a little more attainable for you. <laughs> so I'm gonna just show you this card. Let me see, I start with a card base. This one I'm doing a long one. So um, I start with a thick basic white and it measures, let me see, 11 by four and a quarter. And then I score it at five and a half. So let me just get this started here. Okay. And next I've cut out Flower and Field, Designer Series Paper. This is cut out at five by three and three quarters. Just put a little Tombow and glue it down there. Tombow gives you a few seconds to position it perfectly and then I push it down to seal it um <clears throat> okay so i've got a flirty flamingo little background kind of a matte piece that measures four inches by three and an eighth and then for my whisper white it's a little bit smaller um actually it's called basic white now so i don't get you guys all confused um, basic white is three and seven eighths by three. Okay, so I'll start with this. I'm just gonna stamp an image. Um, I'll start with this um, flower image. You can see it that way. And when I'm stamping these background ones, I like to use memento ink. You could also use um, stays on black ink. Um, if I use basic black ink, I found that it smears more, so I kind of stay away from that. <clears throat> I'm just going to ink it upside down so I make sure the black gets on there pretty well. And then 
pushing it down pretty well. There you go, that's a nice image. And now I want the hummingbird, here it is. So again, this is just me doing it upside down because sometimes with the blacks, um, if I just pat them in like this, once in a while I don't get a really good image and I really want it to be pretty dark. So I'm trying to get the nose in there. I don't know if I can do it, but it's close. And then I kind of press the middle also. Oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing, I'm sorry. There you go. So I'm happy with that. I'll show you what's next. This is like a three minute card or something, maybe five minutes. So the flowers, I'm grabbing Flirty Flamingo. And oh, look at that. So these are, these are your, this is all just a colored in image. And I'm gonna tap it on there and try to line it up as well as I can. It's not going to be perfect, but it's kind of not meant to be. So there, that's pretty. And then the hummingbird I'm doing in Coastal Cabana. And um, it was just one of the colors in the background of this paper I thought it went nicely with. So here's my hummingbird image that's all, you know, it's just all the colored in part. And it's distinctive, so it's... Um, it looks like it's shaded. See how some of this is darker? It does the same thing with your hummingbird. Yeah, ooh, I like that. So I'm almost done. It's so fast. So um, for this card, I'm not sure why, but I, I wanted it lined up um, instead of being you know, perfectly lined up like this, I decided to do it wonky style. <laughs> so let me do the flamingo first. And I'm just gonna do it a little bit, make sure it, what did I do? Actually, I did this one pretty straight like that. And then the, um, the basic white part, that's the one I did a little bit crooked. So you could definitely put it like this, it'd be fine. But I was showing off a little more of the color and just before you seal it down, make sure these edges aren't going way over. So I wanna tuck it in so it'll fit in the envelope really nicely. There you go, that's almost done. And um, so in the... Um, in the stamp set, you can see also that it has a beautiful butterfly image and leaves. So I haven't used those yet, but I'm sure they're really nice. Um, I was either gonna use thank you so much or thinking of you, and I need lots of thank yous. So I'm gonna do this in Memento again. And just a piece of scratch paper. Okay. Now if I put, if I slid my, um, I'm using the double double oval punch. That's kind of a new one. It's really neat. It has the background scalloped cut out and then the regular, just a plain oval here. So it's really useful. But if I slid it in right after I stamped it, it might smear the black just a bit. And I don't want that. Hey, Barbara, thanks for watching. So, um, yeah, I'm early today, so I'm happy you caught me. <laughs> so first, I'm going to use this oval punch to punch out. I don't know if I can get one. Yeah, I think I can. Punch out a um, flirty flamingo. And you turn it upside down like this so you can see what you're doing. If you had it this way, you couldn't see exactly where the cardstock was. So I just punch one out. And then this one's probably dry enough now to... Um, punch the bottom. So I line it up. There you go. I like my punches. Those are great. So fast. I'm going 
gluing it onto the flirty flamingo and um, I'm gonna pop it up with a couple of dimensionals Oops, there you go. Okay, now I'm really happy with that. I think it's so pretty and um, really like it. At class, those guys like so much bling, and I do too. So um, they they kind of did the Wink Estella. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm not sure if you can see it. But I'll wink up Stella, the flowers, and then maybe put a little. Yeah, it always, it always does dress it up a bit. I have to admit, you guys are probably right. Can you see it? There, it's kind of sparkly. And then they want to bling. I just can't blame them. I like the pearls on this one. I don't know why, but I'm going to just put a few pearls like in the middle of the flower like this. <clears throat> I like these teeny tiny ones. They're just beautiful. So I'm using the pick-me-up tool because I don't know how you could do it without that. And I kind of place it down right where I want it to be and then set my finger on it to put it there for sure. Let me put one other... Hmm, I think I'll put a little one. There you go. My finished card. So you guys make comments on this. Just tell me how much you love this card. <laughs> tell me where you're from. Anything like this. Tell me if you have this stamp set or if you've gotten what your favorite celebration thing. That would be a fun thing to figure out. I think this paper is my favorite celebration thing. I really love it. Oh, and that strawberry paper in the back. That was beautiful. Um, let me see. I'm doing classes. And of course, I don't have them. Darn, let me run. Wait, hang on for me. <laughs> uh, one. Oh, here it is. Okay, I'm going to show you what I'm doing at classes next week. So one of them is, it's a card layout class. Hey, Annie. So um, it's a card layout class. So that means we make three cards with the same layout. And this one just has a big stripe down the middle. And this was kind of cute. It's that, uh, it's the snail paper, but I decided to use the mushroom thing. And I just think the colors are fun. And um, you could see the same, I just love this one. This is the um, same layout, but I used, this is that beautiful hydrangea paper, and that's all I've used. But um, look at that pretty background and the butterfly. Oh man, that's so pretty. I hope they, you can't see it sparkle, but it is. There it is. It, it's really, I really like it. And um, I will be doing this in the card layout class. I have kits to go if you can't come to class, but I have classes. Um, this is a popular one. So I'm doing classes on Monday and Tuesday. So Monday, February 8th at 10 and 2, February 9th at 10. And then I'll be at Tasty Crest on February 13th in the morning through about noon or so. So um, hope you guys sign up for that. That's always fun. And I think that's it. So um, thank you so much for watching me, everyone. And I hope you're doing some stamping this week. And please make a comment. And um, that's it. Okay. Have a great day. Aloha.